Hey, what's up, y'all? I know it's a little bit after midnight, but hey, it's still yesterday somewhere, so this counts. Um, so what I want to do today was talk about why and how I started um, the cyber business camp. You know, um, those of you who may know, uh, last year I did a, a a cyber business camp where I taught two things that I'm pretty good at: um, entrepreneurship and ethical hacking, right? And um, you know, oh, and welcome to those who are joining live. Also, those of you who are um, watching the replay, glad to have you here. If you could take a second right now to uh, like, subscribe, um, and share this, you know, so, so other people can hear it. But I really want to just talk about how I got, how I started this camp um, that I'm going to be doing again this year. And as you can see, I'm holding, hosting a, a flash sale um, for those who want to get in early and save 50%. But it started... Um, as there, many of you all know, I turned 40 last year. Um, and as a, you know, the day I turned 40, you know, I didn't really feel different except for I walked into steps and I was like, oh, my knee, it feels 40. It was hilarious. I didn't know that actually on your 40th birthday, your knees remind you that you're 40. Just, just for those of you all who were born in 1983 and turning 40 this year, just a word of caution. But um, so, you know, that was just it. But the next day I woke up at 40 years in one day and I was like, man, you know, I, I started thinking about the next generation. Um, and I've probably shared this with a number of people. I mean, I've shared it before with a number of folks, but I started thinking about the next generation. What, you know, what's happening with, you know, um, with those who are coming after me. And, you know, because I, I, I really have a thing for them. You know, I really love children. Anybody knows when I have a, a number, a whole rack of nieces and nephews. Uh, if I named them all, I'd probably get in trouble by for forgetting one. Um, and then uh, a whole rack of godchildren and just, you know, uh, youngins that I call um, little brother, little sister, niece, nephew, all that type of stuff. So I really enjoy kids. Anybody who knows that, you know, know I really have an affinity for children. And, um, you know, always making sure that they have a, a heart towards their parents, heart towards the most high and anything that Uncle Carl can do, um, you know, he'll do it for them. But, you know, I was like, OK, but what am I doing? You know, from the things that I know that I've, you know, made money from, been successful at, uh, started business. And how can I, you know, pass it on to the next generation? And so that's when I got the idea to do this camp. And I was like, OK, so. How exactly am I going to do a camp for students when anybody knows me? I'm not nobody's teacher. Uh, I just kind of, uh, you know, I show people what I know. I mean, even my style of learning is different than most people. Like, I'm not a type of person who I've never studied a day in my life, um, you know, so I've never really been through that type of stuff. But what I did know and what I did feel in my heart was that they did not have to wait. You know, I sit back and I, you know, I'm a pro. I do uh, work with um, kind of one of the program directors for um, Strive for Perfection, a youth athletics uh, organization um, on a regional, actually it's national now. Uh, shout out to Jacob Crane on that. But I think about how students learn, children learn, you know, sports at a very, very, very young age in order to be uh, proficient at it, actually be excellent. I don't know if there are any or many. Um, players in the NBA, NFL, you know, NHL, MLB, any professional sports that's making um, those millions of dollars doing well. I don't know if any of them actually started as an adult, you know, like, hey, I'm 18 years old and I'm going to start being an athlete. Um, they didn't wait till they got to college to do that. And, and you know, unfortunately, that's what we do with a lot of our uh, other professions. If, you know, people think about that, um, you think about, you know, almost everything else people really don't start getting into it until you know they're very in their late teens early 20s you know whether it be the medical field the law field um entrepreneurship and business cyber you know computers all of that type of stuff they don't really find themselves and start to get into stuff until they are in you know later on in life and so my thought was i had to think to myself carl okay when you were 25, that's when you got into cybersecurity. And, and when you started in, um, you know, kind of doing the business thing, you were 30. Was there anything at that point that you could have been learning or doing that had to wait that long? And the answer was no. 
it was no, you know, the same type of training that um, I was doing in my 20s and 30s, I could have been learning as a teenager. So it's like, okay, why not help them to start there, make have, help give them the opportunity to invest in themselves and get the proper return on their investment when it comes to that. You know, I mean, think about it. I mean, what do you think about that? Um, you know, I'd love to hear your, your, your thoughts in the comments, but the same way that these students, you know, children go to basketball camp, football camp, and I've I've been to a whole a number of them. Like I said, I'm a program director for um you know, uh, strive for perfection. And I see the type of rigorous uh, training that students get at, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old uh, in sports. Why not do the same in entrepreneurship? Why not do the same in athletics? Why not do the same in, you know, the things that they can, you know, so that they would be proficient at it the same way an athlete is proficient at what they do. Um, because they started so early so that's why i started the camp um and last year was a wonderful experience you know we did the cyber portion first and then we went to the entrepreneurship portion and when i say i really 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 got a lot of fulfillment out of it and i don't know uh how many of y'all know this but um you know uh it was it really came at a rough time because in june and july i lost a number of people i said i said about six people over the course of four weeks, um, passed away, died. Uh, and, um, it was, it was a bit, it was a bit rough at that time. And two of them hit me really hard. One was my goddaughter, Bria, and the other was my niece, uh, patience. And this was literally a week apart. Both of them, uh, they, they, they died in two separate car accidents. And, um, and this was right when I was starting, it was in the middle of, it was at the end of the cyber portion in the beginning of the um entrepreneurship portion and uh you know the show must go on you know these parents they pay for their children to be a part of this camp they were expecting it this was something i believe that i needed to do um so i didn't stop i didn't take a break anything like that i kept moving and um i got a lot of fulfillment out of that you know and and i've shared this story before um that you know when it came down to the closing portion of the um young entrepreneur camp and uh a lot of people i don't know if you know again if you want to see the the final list still up on facebook and i can send you the link to it but my final um contestants uh were three um young girls and you know of course their parents were on and you know they had people supporting them and i just kind of sat back and watched them give their presentations and i can't tell you how amazed i was you know i mean i got emotional on the inside of I me mean, i wasn't crying or anything like that but i got really emotional on the inside like seeing them shine like this where um you know again having lost my my niece and my goddaughter just weeks prior um seeing them shine and and do their presentations and me getting messages from the judges saying hey i really want to invest in these young kids and do that and so that's why and how I'm going to continue it this year. And so for those of you who, uh, you know, are interested, you know, you know of a child who wants to be a, they want to get into cybersecurity. They want to get into um, entrepreneurship. They want to start a business. We really help them to write business plans. We really help them building labs. We're going to be doing the, um, the cyber business camp. It's going to be just three weeks this time with morning sessions and afternoon sessions. Uh, the child can take either or they can take either one or both. Um, the morning is going to be the young um, ethical hacking courses. And then from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then in the afternoon is going to be uh, from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Uh, I mean, 4.30 p.m. is going to be the young entrepreneur camp. So they'll still have the evenings and summer. Um, so we're, we're doing that this year, uh, just a little different than what it was before. But I'm really going to see, I really believe we're going to have the same type of impact um, on them. And so, you know, the reason that I do this is because I don't want them, I want them to have a, a head start. I want them to have a uh, the opportunity to not just wait until they get into school, wait until they get into college, wait until they're trying to start a career to learn these essential skills that they could be building right now, you know, 
Uh, what if I told you that, you know, learning how to build a bit, write a business plan is just as direct as learning how to play basketball or play football. Um, it really, really, really is. And you can only imagine, you know, them starting businesses at the ages of 14, 15, 16, of course, with their parents' supervision, where they would be 10 years from that. You know, and even just the experience itself, you know, can help to translate it where they're learning how to do research. They're learning how to, you know, critically think they're working together to build this stuff. I'm, uh, uh, I can, you know, I've been doing different things in Prince George's County Public Schools over this past school year. And man, the potential in our students in this generation, man, it is amazing. I really want to encourage you all, you know, if you even if you're not a parent, if you know of a student that you'd want to bless uh, with the opportunity to learn these skills, hit me up. Let me know. It's something we can work out. You know, I'm willing to do that. You know, we do have some scholarships that are going to be uh, coming up. Thankful to the people who donated to the scholarship fund for my uh, for my birthday. And if you want to, you know, uh, donate to the scholarship, please let me know. But, man, I'm really excited about this year. Um, again, we're doing a flash sale from uh, starting today until next Friday. Uh, you don't want to miss out. The code is going to be up there uh, again. Use Flash Fifty at checkout, and it you get fifty percent off. I think it's going to be. I know it's going to be amazing. Uh, we've actually improved upon last year's program. Um, got some some extra instructors. I'm going to be bringing some people in uh, to really help to demonstrate some things. It's going to be a, it's going to be amazing. Um, so again, if you you are a parent, you're a godparent, you're an aunt, you're an uncle, you're a big brother, big sister, you're just somebody in the community. Um, who wants to invest in our future because that's really what it's about. You know, the time, you know, the time that I'm spending doing this is time, you know, I will be normally working with my adult clients, but this is really a time that's set apart uh, for the students so that they can grow and they can be invested in. So it's going to be from uh, July the 28th, I mean, excuse me, June 28th to July 14th. And I know that you're going to, you're going to love it. You're going to enjoy it. Uh, bring the children if you want, if you need, if you have any questions, you can visit uh, cyberbusinesscamp.com or reach out to me. The DMs are open. My text message, don't text me, uh, you know, send an email, all of that type of stuff. Uh, but feel free, you know, um, if you have to, to, to like, share, subscribe, tag somebody um, in the comments who you think this would be good for their student. Uh, you, you know, like if again, if you don't have any children, um, there is somebody who you may be able to bless with it. But. And that's all I've got to share. Uh, please share this with somebody, share it on your page, tag a parent in it, um, because I really want to help us to fill this up um, so we can begin to see what we want to see in our communities. Um, the next generation, I've been talking to folks in, if you're in Prince George's County, you know, I've been doing some things with, with our government, you know, really helping to, to get the next generation of entrepreneurs up and running because, you know, Businesses don't have to wait till they're my age. They don't have to wait till you're 41 to do it. They could be doing it at 14, and that's what we love to have happen. But um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll holler at y'all. Uh, don't forget, you know, please, 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 uh, you know, check us out. Do this for the students. Do it for yourself. Do it for the generation. Which is cybersecurity and entrepreneurship, two of the most lucrative uh, professions out there right now. They'll have the opportunity to start their businesses, to start their labs. You know, we're doing 50 percent off limited time offer. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Have a good one, y'all.